part. The split charge really charges up the truck batteries when we're driving. So we're relying totally on solar power at the moment. We've been in a stand row for about an hour. The, the place is just absolute chaos. There's people unloading in these tiny wee streets and people trying to drive down them. It's incredible. You look like you're a dummy. After street after street. Oh, chaos. So we come out of the chaos that was down there into the relatively less chaotic uh, pavemented area. We've got no idea where we are. We're going to the Grand Bazaar, which I believe is about 15 minutes walk along here. So the Grand Bazaar is over in this area. Large mosque here, as you'd expect. Yeah. There's 15 million people in Istanbul. 85 million in the whole country. And I think no one's at home ever. <laughs> they just don't seem to be everywhere. All at the same time. Every town we have passed, the streets are filled with people. It's brilliant. I give you the Grand Bazaar. So this is shopping in the extreme, I believe. It just goes beautiful ceiling in this place. But it goes in every direction too. So I reckon you could get lost in here. Lovely fountains here. So, this is buzzing. Lovely place and the sun is setting. Can't complain. For a nice couple of hours wandering around. We're going to go and get something yeah. to eat now. One thing we've learned is to get up early because there's massive queues everywhere. And uh, we've been to the Blue Mosque twice and we can't get in because there's like a half hour wait. So we are now at the Basilica system. <laughs> Old age is great. We're at the Basilica system and we will be uh, probably going in in about five or ten minutes. The queue is about four times the length of this earlier on. So we'll be going into the Basilica system and it should all be good. But yeah, top tip if you want to see Istanbul, we'll leave early in the morning. We'll be at the Blue Mosque tomorrow morning at half past eight. Take it from there.
So we've come into the Blue Mosque. And it's uh, lots of people here, quarter past eight, uh, quarter to nine in the morning. But I have to say, it's quite impressive. Absolutely stunning, and the blue tiles signify peace and tranquility. Just to make if you are going to come and visit, just uh, make sure that you've checked the prayer times because it's obviously uh, you can get in during prayer time. So two or three times a day, yeah, and get here early because there's lots of people here lots of people so and we were we were early we were quarter to nine this morning so uh, but we get in relatively quickly so keep that in mind but the queues are enormous in the afternoon so if you want more information about the mosque we have a lot of Islamic information and literature, uh, which is all free of charge. And you can pick it up in this section here. And that concludes the Blue Mosque. Definitely worth visiting. Only 10 15 minutes. Uh, maybe advisable to get a tour guide who could tell you a lot more about it than me, for example. But no, uh, definitely worth a visit. So we're just on our way to Prince's Island. Uh, just an experience. You'll load up your card, the Istanbul card. I put 200 lira on the card and basically it's cost £1.32 to go on the ferry so I think it takes about 75 minutes It's like the locals were feeding the fish actually taken just under two hours to get here and uh, we'll go have a little explore. Everywhere you go someone's trying to get you inside to eat something. Even if you eat somewhere and then you leave there and walk past the restaurant next door, they still invite you in. Oh,